Okay, thanks for those commentaries from Cheltenham, Doug. We're going to move over to Newbury now, where I've got uh, the junior novices chase over two mile six furlongs. So number one is like dusting crops, two is summertime blues, three all the time, four pulling your leg, five Somerset House, and six the Queen's Estate. Only six here. Very small field. These little baby novices. So they're straight into the first hurdle. And the three that rised at the front were like dusting crops, Somerset House, and pulling your leg. Just on the outside there is now Summertime Blues in the pink for Del Hinton. And we've got uh, the Queen's Estate. And just at the rear all the time as they take the second. And they're through two. The rain coming down here. And it's two and a half miles still to travel. But it's like dusting crops. It's just half a length ahead of the rest. And we're still uh, jockeying for position here. They're into the third. Everyone's over it. Bit of a slow jump by Somerset House. One of the jockeys taking a pull. Doesn't want to go off too quick. Going to be fairly tactical, I imagine, this race. Just the six of them. Some top trainers in there. Joshua, Jim, Dale, Graham, Martin. And last of all, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> He's on the outside. Number six, the Queen's Estate. But up front, it's pulling your leg that's taken them along into the next. I think I might have called them hurdles, but it looks like a chase fence there. That was a ditch. My apologies. The first couple here at Newbury look like hurdles. So it's still pulling your leg now. It's uh, taking them around this bend here. Leads by four to like dusting crops. And we've got Somerset House. The outside of that is all the time and Somerset Blues. Summertime Blues. And the Queen's Estate. It is funny. The lesser horses, the more mistakes you make. So it's still pulling your leg by five to like dusting crops Somerset House Summertime Blues thought I'd sing that one for you this is the problem when there's not much to call you have to listen to my inane banter I like to call it banter but it's still pulling your leg that leads by six to seven from Summertime Blues like dusting crops they're into the eighth everybody's all in the Queen's Estate there went through the top of it and has demoted himself uh, into last position and a couple of lengths detached from the pack, but uh, trying to catch back on now. So still up front, he's pulling your leg. Although he's uh, pulling the neck of the horse now, just to try and slow it down. He may have gone off a little bit freely. Still got a mile and a half to travel. Still half the fences to take, but it's still pulling your leg that leads. From Summertime Blues in second now. Then we've got Somerset House and like dusting crops all the time on the outside. And the Queen's Estate just at the rear at the moment. Six, all going round. If one falls, you're all going to get some money. I imagine it's a fairly. Uh, these novices tend to be fairly good in our league. They tend to be the better horses put in as novices because they don't have to worry about weight. So most of the trainers will put their better horses in the novice races. So it's pulling your leg. Gets over the tenth better and first compared to everybody else. And pretty much as you were over a mile left to travel seven to jump so just go into the 11th everybody's over that couple of slow jumps at the rear but it's still pulling your leg clutterbuck stables looking to start the day here at newbury with a winner as we hit the eight furlong pole as they take the 12th everybody's over it it's starting to shorten the gap just a little now all the time is uh, having to be hustled along a little bit get his mind back onto the race as they approach the 13th, jockey on pulling your leg looks round, realises there's still no challenges. And they all get over the 13th, some quicker jumps from the chasing pack as uh, pulling your legs lead down to just a couple now. Summertime blues and like dusting crops into the ditch, the 14th, everyone's over it. We've only got probably five, six lengths between first and last. Anything's still got an opportunity here. We go into the bend. Well, that's being pushed along now out wide is all the time. Trying to get a better position. Cuts back in towards the fence. So it's still pulling your leg. Not under any pressure yet. The two that are now starting to chase the summertime blues and like dusting crops. All the time up on the inside now has found better position. They're over the 15th, although all the time didn't take that well. The one on the outside here is the Queen's Estate, which is just flying now. He's going to take it up with a couple left to jump and three and a half furlongs to run. It's pulling yourself, pulling your leg, the <laughs> pulling yourself. The Queen's Estate pulling your leg. The Queen's Estate starts to pull ahead by a length now. We're inside the final two and a half furlongs with a couple left to jump. It's the Queen's Estate that's going to take him into the penultimate leads by a couple 
couple now from pulling your leg. Half finishing summertime blues like Dustin Crotts all the time in summer set house are not going to win from there. But the Queen's Estate went over that one slightly slower, but he's still got a good couple of lengths of vintage from pulling yourself, pulling your leg in second. The fourth is like Dustin Crotts, summertime blues. But the Queen's Estate, fur on left to travel, gets over the last. Probably going to win this of Darren Thompson comfortably in the end. The Queen's Estate, half finishing like Dustin Crotts is trying to get up for second, but it's going to be the Queen's Estate from long time leader pulling your leg. Third was like Dustin Crops all, all the time. Five Somerset, Tom Time Blues, and fifth was Somerset House. My apologies there. Good win for uh, Darren Thompson with the Queen's Estate. Second was Pulling Your Leg for Graham Clutterbuck. Third, like Dustin Crops for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth, all the time for Martin Leadham. Fifth, Summertime Blues for Dee Hinton. Sixth, just bringing up the rear was Somerset House for Jim Murray.